American consumers love their beef. Exports are high, creating positive trends for cattle producers on Successful Farming Radio. Successful Farming Radio, providing information farmers need in the field, in the shop, and in the office. Committed to growing your business in agriculture. Successful Farming presents the 15 Minutes with a Farmer podcast. In each episode, a successful farming editor has a quick conversation with a farmer, chock full of stories and advice from their area of agriculture. They're interesting, educational, and perfect for your busy schedule. Search for 15 Minutes with a Farmer wherever you download your podcasts. Any age, any make, any model. Any way you look at it, you can get the right part at the right price by stopping by the one parts counter at your local John Deere dealership. Whether you need to replace a worn part or just need to stock up on maintenance and replacement parts, you can find it all at the one parts counter. Knowledgeable, friendly staff will help you choose from genuine John Deere, Reman, or A&I parts. Do yourself and your machine a favor. Stop by the one parts counter today at your local John Deere dealership. When consumers believe in beef, it pushes the market. The cattle markets were booming in 2021 thanks to the strong consumer demand. Signals point to another good year this year, both domestically and internationally. Norman Voiles Jr. is the vice chair of the Cattlemen's Beef Board. He says the global demand for beef is as high as it's ever been. For the first time, they're expecting an export excess of $2 billion to three different markets this year and total exports around $10 billion. Exports across the globe are up significantly. Um, Looks like we're adding as much as $400 per fed animal because of those exports. Largely driven by variety meats that aren't typically used by U.S. consumers. Beef lips, tongues, things like that. People like beef and are glad to buy it. Despite higher sticker prices on beef, consumers are still purchasing. According to a 2020 study by Kansas State University, consumers were becoming less sensitive to rising meat prices and were willing to pay more to ensure high-quality beef was in their shopping carts. In the meantime, Voyle says alternative proteins have cut very little into the beef market. Very limited right now. The reason for that, people tend to like something that is one ingredient. Beef is one ingredient. When you start talking about some of these alternative proteins, massive amounts of different ingredients go into making those. Folks like it simple and like good taste, and you can't beat a good steak or really good hamburger for that. I'm Jody Hinkey. Learn more about beef consumer research trends at agriculture.com.